you are a fire professional. For a long time, you investigated fire forensically. For the Milwaukee Police Department as a detective. As a fire professional, would it be fair to say that you like fires? I like fires. I do a lot of practice burns. I build burn cells and put furniture in it, like an eight by eight by eight burn cell. And we set those on fires with gas, usually. I also have a dollhouse that I built that's about 32 inches tall and 16 inches wide that I build furniture for and then set that on fire. It's training purposes. Um, and I also use it when I testify, I have to be able to say that I have watched fire burn so I under I have a much better understanding of what fire can and can't do and so that I can give my opinion in court as an expert witness. But to be clear, as a fan of fire, you enjoy fire. You enjoy setting them up, you enjoy lighting them, you enjoy watching them burn. Absolutely. <laughs> it is a kick, yes. I very much enjoy doing it and figuring out how, different ways to make it burn. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, one, what, what, if you can uh, perhaps give us a sense of what it is about fires that you like, and two, what separates you from arsonists? You have to have a little bit of arsonist in you to understand the arsonist that is doing these things. You know, you have to be able to walk a mile in their shoes. So we set fires for training purposes. For some people, there is a an erotic attraction to fires. Yes. And is that there something is. you can relate to? Um, I, I, I think it's cool. I don't necessarily believe I get aroused by it. Although some firefighters are pretty cute. <laughs> um. <laughs> Does it make sense to you? Can you relate in, in any way to people who are aroused by fires? Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's it can be exciting because because it moves so fast and it's that danger element that uh, it, you know comes across sort of living dangerously when you set fires. Prior to our conversations about this, have you ever, had you ever heard of Burning Man? Or the Burning no, Man. I had not. What do you think about the notion that there's a whole global movement that's centered around watching various effigies burn? I totally get it. It's very cool. It's hot and it's like exciting and it grows and then it shrinks and then it grows again. And depending on what you throw into the fire, depends on how quickly it grows or how big it gets. It just depends on how you're feeling that day. <laughs> Could you imagine yourself going to a burn and dancing naked around the fire? Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> Wow. We, we won't send you a ticket quite yet. We, okay. we won't buy you a ticket quite yet. But Ilsa Wallach, thank you so much for talking. I really appreciate your expertise. I, I, I hope that you don't have to use it too often up there in Milwaukee. <laughs> yes, thanks. Right. Bye, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs>